and right in front of me now is standing the base of a windmill. The base was at one point in time a pickup truck bed made of steel. It weighs about a thousand pounds. It's something like seven foot by eight foot in dimensions. And standing on that unit, I have a steel post that measures four inches in diameter and is 15 feet long. And if we work our way up where we can see the top of the post, right on the top of the post, you're going to see that there is a windmill. I like windmills. This is for decorative purposes. At the very top of the mill, there are two Model A Ford spindles and hubs, and the, the mill will pivot on a Model A spindle, and it rotates on a Model A Ford spindle. I think it has a 16-inch wire wheel from a 36 Ford as the mechanism for attaching the blades. Don't know if you can tell from here, but each blade is held in place by a muffler clamp. When those clamps are loosened, the pitch angle of each blade can be adjusted. That has a regulation of the RPM that the fan will turn. Also at that time, each blade can be moved away from the center or toward the center to balance the uh, windmill. It runs on tapered bearings, greased with axle grease, will last for many years just sitting as a decoration. So that takes care of a brief look at our windmill. If we go back now to a look at the base of the mill, 